Hey guys, and we are live. So I'm checking out Novella Origin by Westwood Instruments. And really love this company. And I definitely need to do some more videos on their instruments. We're talking about a contact library. So uh, we'll jump right into this. I'm going to just give you some, uh, you know, very uh, simple overview here and we'll just check the sound see what we've got and what kind of instruments we have and everything else so um, to get started with this I'm just uh, going to show you and it is in the in the description of this video there's a, a link to uh, to the website I'm gonna just quickly show you guys what's up with this. So this is Westwood Instruments and they have a whole bunch of very creative contact libraries and uh, they always bring something new, something else into the instruments. It's just uh, straightforward stuff. So um, they, they have this... Uh, alt piano they have this solo string untamed lost synth and so on but we are here to talk about this new library so i'm going in and there's a whole uh, bunch of information that you can uh, you can see here and but i think you know you you definitely can browse this yourself if you're looking for orchestral creative contact libraries uh, this is definitely uh, interesting stuff here so let me show you uh, what's up with this i'm going back into my cubase and i already have uh, this one loaded now if we go back into the library you'll see that we have uh, just about 10 different instruments, 10 different um, sort of presets. So we have the willow ensemble, we have the violins, we have violas, cellos, double bass, we have chords, we have some other stuff here. So we have guitars, piano, synth, and drums. So if you're looking for something versatile to uh, create some emotional stuff definitely interesting this uh, kind of collection so uh, yeah i'm back into into our instrument going to load this just uh, again so we'll have the default settings and this is how it sounds out of the box okay i'm just gonna play something And right now we uh, we have this ensemble chords preset, and you can see this uh, right here on the top. So we have in this NKI in this instrument with the willow ensemble, what we've got is different articulations, different uh, settings, and we have key switches starting far far to the left where we have uh, the of these red uh, buttons here, the red keys. So the first one is the ensemble chords. Then we have Arco. Before that, we have uh, the improvisations and so on. So I'm, I'm just gonna, uh, again, show you a little bit more about this. So the yellow, yellow uh, key switches are actually the type of chords. So the first one here is major, then we go into minor, sus2, and then we have a major 6, and then we have minor 6, and so on. So we can try something here. So I can go with the minor chords. And 
what else we have? So we have three different positions. We have position one, two, and position three. They are color coded, so they'll give you different register, different feeling of the sounds. And so we can try just to compare. Now we have two, uh, two controls here. We have the dynamics right here. This will be controlled by the mod wheel, right? So dynamics, and we also have expression. So here in my new control, MK4, we have this uh, little touch sensitive expression strip. Absolutely wonderful. And of course, we also have some other stuff here. For example, we have the mics. So this is the mix. This is like a balanced mix between the different mics. So we have close room and a gallery. And you can add more. And, and you'll see that we, we're loading more and more samples if we're adding these microphones. Some other stuff that we have will be the reverb right here, and I can change this to a different. Uh, let's let's try this uh, hole for example, and we have the the amount. But before I continue with this we can try some of the other articulations and then go back to more settings and options. So I have the improv, which is basically this. Very nice, and then we have this Arco long sustained playing. Right, and we can try the flantando. Right, we have sopant. And finally, we have Spicato. So I want to try something here. So you can see that this is uh, velocity sensitive. So I can try just hitting the keys very uh, gently. A very good job here capturing different um, dynamics and different uh, playing styles while maintaining this uh, idea of velocity layers. Very, very nice. So, um, 
one other thing that we can do here is by the way go into these controls these buttons right here on the left we have home this is where we are right now right but we also have the effects so here we have uh, trans pitching in semitones then we have a, a very simple EQ like uh, flat air or grit Right. And then we have delay, which is turned off right now. We have the width control, spreading the width. We can try that. And then again, we have the reverb, which you can also find in the main page. So here below, you'll find the types of, um, of uh, reverb. And let's try this horizon. And I'm going to go back to the home page and get this uh, Arco. And we can dial it back for sure. Um, yeah, so that is the Willow Ensemble. Um, really li like this one. Very, uh, very well done. Now I'm going to go into my browser here and I'm using the Complete Control uh, S61 MK3, the new keyboard by Native Instruments. So check my channel if you want to see more about that. So I can just browse things from here. And I'm going to go with the second patch here, the second NKI that is included, which is violins. So I'm going to get that one. It's going to load. And I, I do want to mention that this library can run on the free contact player meaning you don't have to buy the full contact, though it is now uh, as part of the uh, uh, cyber season. It is on sale as uh, included in the complete 14 uh, bundles. So uh, definitely worth checking out. So now we have the um, now we have the violins. And again, on the top here, we have the different articulations, but check that we have on the top here pages. So there are more. See how many, how many articulations we have. We have this legato, which I, well, I'm not going to really program this right now in a, in a true legato kind of thing, but definitely uh, sounds great. Let, let's have a quick listen. Right, so it is legato, you can't really play chords or anything like that. Right, it is legato. Then we have vivid legato. With a little bit more pronunciation, I would say. Right, so again, these libraries are not your regular orchestral or solo violins or anything like that. It is a little bit different, a little bit more creative, something else. You don't want those generic sounds all the time. If you want to, you know, to bring something new, definitely check this one out. So improv is less stable. Okay, so it is expressive and naturally dynamic sustained notes. Mm -hmm. 
and you can hear that the the different players as i play a chord you can hear uh, that this is not just one voice um, you know working here you have like different players different layers and we have this uh, molte So short notes played with, um, what? yeah, the picks. Okay, so this is short notes played with the guitar picks. I'm just going to jump there. So that can work very nicely with like the Eclipse reverb. If you want something interesting. And let's try vintage reverb, spiccato, quite dry, so I can try different, maybe a different type of reverb. We can try the whole. And we have this lag here. So this is change the duration of the transition between notes. Uh, minimum settings, you will hear, uh, you know, more of the transition. So uh, this is ideal for slow playing. Let's try that. So I definitely need to listen to this much, much more carefully and to to see the value here I'm definitely going to do that later all right so let's try long uh, long notes I'm gonna go with this arco which uh, will be long sustained playing Nice. So there's so many, so many articulations here. We can try some others. Right. And so now I want to go and try some more instruments. So that, that was the violins. Now we can check the cellos. And uh, here again, we have a whole bunch of articulations in uh, two pages so so many options and everything is key switchable right here on the left so if you're programming the MIDI in uh, in your uh, whatever software you're using you can switch between the different articulations very easily so this is the legato And we can try and add these gallery mics. And again, I'm reminding you, we have different micings and you can blend them together. We can change the reverb type to hall, for example. And here again, we have Vivid Legato. And some other, let's try something interesting, something maybe like this uh, malt
nice. So again, if you go into the effects, you'll find that we have this delay. So we can try that right now. It is set to uh, eight. And I suggest we'll go back to the home page, change this to something uh, like spiccato. Right, and maybe it's too much, but it's fun. So uh, we can dial it back in the mix here. We have the high cut if we want to adjust that, the feedback, depth, rate. So this is kind of modulation to get some flutter. And we can widen the stereo spread. And that is the uh, the cello. So let let's go back homepage, and these are the cellos. I'm gonna go with the next one, double basses. So double basses loading up, and what we've got here is again tons of different options. We have Delegato and Arco and uh, so on. Flatendo, we have Pics, Picato. Let, let's start with this one, actually. So everything is shifted left. Everything is on the low side of things. Let's try. And we can try something like the picks just for creative. Very, very nice. Now, if you are in the live stream right now, let me know in the comments. Uh, I just be super excited to uh, to get some feedback from you guys. Let me know what do you think uh, about this novella origin. And I really like that one. If you're looking for some classic instruments with a twist something else this is definitely interesting stuff so this is the uh, the double bass and let's try another one here cool so I'm going to try the next one. And now we're getting into some different types of, uh, of instruments. So we have the chords, then we have guitars, piano, and synth. So I'm going to start with the core. And this is going to be interesting because I really don't know what's included here. Right, so we have the articulations, and this one goes from A to U. The next one is M to A, and so on. So th these are the different vowels. Let's try that. And we'll go with the M. We need more reverb, of course. So I'm going to go with the Eclipse.
So we have this va this vo thing here. So this will change the vowel sounds. So uh, let's see. Right, so this is how it goes. My bad. So this will go from A to U. Hmm. I really love that idea. This this is pretty cool. And then we have some more. Let, let's go with the chants. And we have short na. So I'm I'm just thinking out loud here. Kind of thing that I I really love to do is when we do these uh, vocals, we can start something else. We can go and add something like this Arturia new plugin. Let me show you this one. So this is really stunning motion. So this is uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Just to get things exciting. I'm going to go here with uh, these glitches. Let's try this one. And yeah, I'm going to try gated reverb. Sorry, gated rhythms. Nice stuff. So this this is the EFX emotions. Really love that one. So we can try sci-fi. Let's see. You get the idea. Let's get rid of that one. And we're back here. So these are the foils. And these are the, the vocals. So there's uh, also short O. Improvisations. Nice. I'm going back into my browser here on the keyboard, going into the electric guitar. So, uh, yeah, again, this library, uh, it comes with 10 different instruments. So also guitars, it's just electric guitar, sounds great. Right, uh, it's pretty dry, I can go with this horizon stuff.
right and we have some some other types of uh, articulations so i guess you need to have that in context of a composition not just me trying to improvise here on the spot Right, nice harmonics, and we can go back into hall. It's it's also nice. And noises, which I have no idea what that is. So scratches and just taps and things like that so that is the guitar the pickup six and we also have a piano so this is going to be like an upright piano and i wish I, I i knew how to play piano which i don't but but that can complement whatever composition you have with the ensemble with the string ensemble with the violins with the cellos with the double basses and everything else So it feels very soft and felt. And we have pedal down piano. Right, very, very quiet. Um, maybe, maybe I can try and bring in something here let me try and import something i'm gonna go with a midi file and let's see downloads all right let's get this chopin uh-huh okay It's very quiet. So that, that was the piano and we also have some other stuff here. Let's see what we've got. We have a Wanderlust synth that was recorded. And this is uh, pretty nice stuff. So we have different sounds here and three different banks, three different pages with more and more sounds. So I can just try the first one. <laughs> Right, and we have some more stuff that you can do here. We have the velocity LFO, we have the pitch LFO, we have filter LFO. No, it's not filter LFO, but it's it is the filter, the cutoff and resonance. Right, 
right, and we have some more sounds. And again, you have to take that in the context of this orchestral uh, library, because we have, again, the ensemble, the string ensemble, we have violins, violas, cellos, things like that, and that is complementing uh, whatever we uh, we do here. So uh, we can go into our instrument. Let's see what else we have. Nice. And so that is the Wanderlust. Let's try the next page. Simple Lies. What that is, nobody knows. And finally, we also have the drums. Let's see what that is. And we'll finish this video with this uh, little patch here. So we also have some drums. I got that here on my keyboard. So we have kick, two kicks. Then we have some uh, choices of snares. Then we have some toms. We have ride and we have more toms. All right, so just acoustic drums, nice. We also have tuning for them. We have different mics here. So more and more mics, you can see that we have the close room and hall. Then we have uh, the, this mic, uh, again, bass, snare, tom, and we also have hat, ride, and overheads. So uh, all of that is with this patch, and we have three different um, settings here. So we have the the bamboo uh, uh, broomsticks, we have felt, and we have cymbal swells. So uh, this is the first one, second. All right, and we have cymbal swells. And that is the novella origin by Westwood uh, Instruments. And I know that was very, very uh, short and uh, out of context. I mean, we need some composition to, uh, to make this library really shine. But it brings something else to the table here. And again, if, uh, if you have any questions, or anything like that, just let me know. Let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to um, to try and answer your questions if you have questions on this uh, on this really cool library. And uh, one last something before we end this video is I wanted to share with you my new plugins shop, and I'm working with tons of different companies and. Very soon, I'm going to add more and more. So the, the this is the list of uh, different plugin companies that I work with. I don't have all the, the plugins yet in the shop, but it's uh, in, um, in motion. So um, check again and again. And everything is uh, actually connected to my... Um, to my uh, channel here 
So for example, sometimes you'll see things like, uh, let me show you, if you go into, into this, uh, um, let's go with the Hollywood fantasy here. Yeah, let's wait for this. Right, so you can see view products, you click this, you'll see the product and you can buy, for example, East West uh, Hollywood fantasy stuff directly from my shop. So you click this, you will get into my shop, you, uh, you will get an official legitimate license from East West and that is uh, one of the best ways to support the channel. And why would you want to buy from my shop well again maybe support the channel but also uh, get my support if you have any questions or anything i'm always uh, trying to be available and if you uh, want to support the channel you can always below any of the videos you'll see these little things here and you can just send me a little tip here so that is super appreciated and that's it so um I'm going to see you guys very soon with some more videos. So take care, stay safe, and I want to just um, um, send a shout out to all my friends and everybody that is uh, right now fighting for our country, for Israel. And so stay safe and uh, come back home. Uh, you know, safe to your families. See you soon, guys. Thanks and bye-bye.